Hello everyone, I'm David Sanchez Plaza, Cloud Solution Architect at Huawei Cloud. Today, I would like to share my thoughts and practices for modernizing apps. Digital transformation is well in the way in every industry. We believe every industry will be a software enterprise in the near future. In the journey to a digital world, app modernization is key, and it requires agile innovation, rapid service rollout, and a smooth evolution of legacy apps. In addition, large IT systems will be managed in an orderly manner, and app data should be shared securely. According to Forrester Research, enterprises with modernized apps will see a massive 128% increase in the return on investment. We believe that app modernization will reshape business value. Is modernizing apps necessary? The answer is yes. Time-consuming infrastructure construction and scaling it unreliability, slow rollout, weak security, and complicated governance. These are the problems that traditional app frameworks present. They prevent enterprise from quickly responding to fierce competition and user requirements. We want to help enterprises solve these problems by making traditional apps modern and agile. Based on Huawei's 20 years of experience in digital transformation, we propose four ways of modernization. What are these four ways and what are the benefits do they offer? The first way involves modernizing infrastructure. By using technologies such as containers, distributed or ubiquitous computing, and unified computing, we are able to transform a traditional infrastructure to a cloud-native infrastructure. Because they do not build in-house infrastructure, enterprises can opt for ready-to-use elastic cloud infrastructure and focus more on business innovation. The second way involves modernizing architecture and its design. That is, to decouple apps through service-oriented and serverless architecture and improve app reliability by implementing active-active strategies and disaster recovery. The third way involves modernizing the development cycle and operation and maintenance. The goal is agile and secure delivery of cloud-native apps. We introduce DevSecOps in the app lifecycle to optimize the development lifecycle and operation and maintenance, so apps can be released in weeks or even days, and to incorporate security into it. With more enterprise deploying their new and legacy apps across different types of cloud, how to securely reuse app assets and process the data between apps has become a primary concern. The fourth way involves modernizing governance and operations using solutions such as all domain integration, app asset management, and blockchain. Today, my focus is in the last three ways of modernization. Let's first look at the evolution of an app architecture and design. App architecture has gone from monolith to microservices. The microservices architecture has many advantages. For example, services are smaller, so they can be rolled out in weeks with DevOps automated pipelines. In addition, services can be scaled up in seconds to meet surges in demand when they are deployed in hosting platforms which also provide standard full-stack operation and maintenance capability. Although the microservices architecture plays a role in app modernization, it is not the final answer, because the technologies keep evolving. Now, we witness the rise of serverless architecture. With a serverless architecture, the infrastructure resources can be abstracted from the final developers, so they can focus on apps without worrying about the resource allocation and maintenance and operations. Serverless is more elastic. Resources can be scaled in milliseconds, comparing to seconds within the microservices. So, serverless can be adopted in scenarios that require very low latency. Serverless also transforms development practices, reducing app rollout duration from weeks to days. Developers create apps by developing an orchestration function that they don't have to build in the runtime environments for their rollout. With so many benefits, there is no doubt that serverless is an inevitable trend for cloud native. An industry research shows that 80% of global enterprises will adopt serverless by 2026. Huawei has launched full stack serverless cloud services. With OpenRoyal as the core, Huawei serverless incorporates function graph, cloud application engine, event grid, and end-to-end -end serverless keychain. It makes app development more efficient and simple freeing developers from the hassle of server and other infrastructure management. The app rollout duration is as last from weeks to days. Huawei serverless help enterprises optimize resource utilization. 
Resources are automatically scaled up and down based on charging demand, preventing wasting resources. In function graph, cold start is as short as 50 milliseconds, which means functions can start up quickly and invoke resources. Huawei Video has used function graph to improve transcoding resource utilization by 60%. Currently, serverless functions in the industry are basically stateless and used in a web and mobile app, IoT, and other simple scenario that does not require much state information. Huawei Function Graph is the first of its kind to support stateful functions, which is ideal for scenarios that require real-time state information, such as gaming, financial risk control, and machine learning. For example, each time user logs into games, they will need to access their progress. If stateless functions are used, a real-time experience cannot be guaranteed because the frequent access to externally stored data and long delays. However, with stateful functions that store data internally, users can enjoy a smooth gaming experience. Now, let's move to modernizing development and operation and maintenance. We have gone through the transformation from agile development to DevOps. Since apps have been deeply integrated into our work and life, app security has become a hot topic. For example, apps for healthcare, banking, or automobile industry, users are concerned not only with their privacy, but also with their life and property security. Traditional security is usually defensive, and hardening measures are always implemented during app runtime. This cannot eliminate security risk in the development phase, so apps are still under severe risk and after they go online. The demand for built-in security and trustworthy development has led to the rise of DevSecOps. DevSecOps integrates security standards and specifications into development and operation, automates implementation and verification, improves app security without affecting and delivery efficiency. In this way, apps can be secure right from the start. Let's first take a look at Huawei Cloud DevCloud. It's an end-to-end -to -end tool chain the first of its kind to streamline the entire software cycle from requirements. You can do code commit, build, test and verification, release and deployment, operation and maintenance. DevCloud integrates security into the entire development process and provides an end-to-end -end security services, including code security, trustworthy builds, artifact security, and security testing. It complies with more than five types of security standards and provides more than 15,000 code sec rules. The service has been awarded the most influential DevOps product by Cloud Computing Open Source Industry Alliance, OSCAR, at the Global Operations Summit, GOPS, for two consecutive years. IDC has named DevCloud as the leader for its leading product capabilities, excellent localization services, mature ecosystem, and forward-looking strategy. IDC pointed out that DevCloud is leading China's DevOps cloud service market, ranking first in both product capabilities and market set in China. Another immense helpful development tool for Huawei is Huawei Cloud App Cube. Recent years has seen the rapid growth of low-code products. As one of them, App Cube provides a large number of app assets such as page component, service connector, and typical app templates and provides tools such as developers can create the desired apps with little or even no coding. Development efficiency is increased for more than 10x. ApeCube enables anyone in an enterprise with or without coding experience to quickly develop apps as part of their digital transformation. Business personnel can orchestrate apps without code using templates and processes. Professional engineers can develop apps using the low-code approach. When it comes to complex service logic, software engineers can develop microservices with full code and orchestrate these microservices and services developed using low code in a unified manner. AppCute has been applied to diverse industries, such as enterprise office, emergency command, city management, smart campus, significantly improving the development efficiency. A development framework is the foundation for app development. During Huawei's 30 plus years of R&D experience, hundreds of thousands of Huawei R&D engineers have summarized their development lifecycle best practice for design, 
development, testing, operation and bug maintenance to governance, and have converted this specification into basic requirements for app development. All this specification can be easily implemented into DevSport. To make this sport more easy to use, we have developed many key capabilities, such as automatic generation of app framework code, metadata code, delivery pipelines, and app configurations. This is last 80% of the repeated adaptation workload and 90% of the manual project configuration workload. Developers can build development engineering capabilities for a new app within hours. Many enterprises have come a long way in their journey to digitalization. At this point, we can see the coexistence of new and legacy apps, of diverse services and data interference standards, and of multiple types of infrastructures such as public cloud, private cloud, edge cloud, and traditional data centers. This presents a huge challenge for enterprises that they want to upgrade their IT systems without interrupting services. Inclusiveness becomes a keyword when enterprise modernize the app governance and operations. Based on Huawei's 20 years of experience in digital transformation, we have developed a complete set of philosophies and solutions for app governance and operations. They include Roma Connect, Roma Exchange, Roma BCS, and Roma Lab. Roma Connect connects legacy and new apps across cloud and domains, protecting existing assets to their end during the app evolution. Roma Exchange is a unified digital asset operation system. It accumulates assets such as data, apps, APIs, integration, and models in the platform, and opens and distributes assets in an orderly manner. Roma BCA enables trustworthy data exchange and processing between apps and traceable data flows. Last but not least, Roma Lab an open ecosystem platform on which we work with the partners to continuously innovate industry apps. Roma Connect focuses on app and data connection. It integrates messages, data, APIs, and devices to help enterprises rapidly streamline legacy systems with cloud native applications and connect on cloud with on-premises apps. The service has been widely recognized in the industry for its powerful integration capabilities and has won the Trustworthy Cloud User Case Best Practices Award in 2021. This year, we have launched four new capabilities on Roma Connect. First, Roma site instances deployed at Edge can be reversibly cascaded with Roma Connect on the cloud. So, APP data and data integration is seamlessly even in complex conditions. The second is API lifecycle management, which enables effective management and operation of internal data and APIs. The third is Visual Service Flow orchestration, which allows for quick app integration. Fourth, integration capabilities are enhanced. Now, more than 100 types of app can be connected, as against 50 more types earlier. Roma Connect supports more ecosystem and makes migration with zero reconstruction time possible. Now, blockchain was first used in finance, but now has been adopted in many fields to meet the requirements of trustworthy value transfers such as supply chains, public services, energy, copyright, and IoT. Huawei began to work on blockchain in 2015 and launched the second generation of Huawei Cloud blockchain service. The service helps enterprises efficiently develop blockchain solutions and apps at a low cost. It is efficient, secure, easy to use, and open. It supports a throughput of more than 50,000 transactions per second, 10 times higher than the industry level, and large-scale networks with 10,000 nodes, 100 times higher than the industry level. Huawei Cloud Blockchain has been applied in more than 70 projects in seven industries, such as the red wine industry. Counterfeit red wines are always an issue in the industry. French foreign trade advisors claim in a report that one out of every two bottles of French wine sold in Chinese market is counterfeit. This is where blockchains come into play, making it possible to trace wine and reduce wine fraud. A use case of Huawei Cloud Blockchains is Huawei Mosul. It supports concurrent information recording of hundreds of thousands of products to the chain. Wines are traced throughout the entire life cycle from production, transformation, inspection to custom clearance, 
so customers can purchase wines without worrying about their authenticity. As the internet continues to grow rapidly, numerous excellent works are being created. However, creators' rights and interests are damaged by frequent infri infringement. That's why Huawei Cloud Blockchains and Huawei Device have jointly launched Digital Copyright Identifier Kit, DCI Kit, to enable creators to apply for copyright rights after they have created the works. Creators can also use the DCI Kit for online authorization and copyright protection. We sincerely invite you to join us in reshaping trust in different industries and promoting a healthy industry development. Finally, I would like to introduce Huawei Blockchain 2.0 white paper to you. The white paper 1.0 was released in 2018. Three years later, in the white paper 2.0, we talk about the latest industry progress and the key challenges to blockchains around the world and elaborate on Huawei's blockchain development strategies key technologies, direction, and best practices in public services, healthcare, finance, and automobile industries. We hope that you can join us to work together and build a thriving blockchain ecosystem. The white paper can be downloaded from the Huawei Cloud website. That's all for me. Thank you for your time. Now, I'm going to share my thoughts on serverless architecture. The development of cloud computing can be divided into three phases. In the cloud 1.0, the cloud mainly provided basic services such as compute, storage, and network. This was a resource-centric area. In the cloud 2.0, cloud-native technologies became the key, with widespread use of containers, microservices, DevOps, and declarative APIs. This was an application-centric area and facilitated the development of services in the cloud. Now, we are in the cloud 3.0, where serverless and distributed cloud play important roles. The event-driven serverless application architecture helps customers build modern applications that do not sense resources, are extremely elastic, and are free from operation and maintenance. Serverless means that your services are unaware of underlying resources, allowing developers to focus on the service innovation. Different people have different understanding of serverless. I will introduce serverless from two aspects. First, in the terms of computing architecture, it has involved from a VM to container to serverless, increasing resource utilization. Second, in terms of application architecture, it has involved from a monolithic to service-oriented architecture to microservices and then to serverless, increasing automation. Serverless is a natural evolution of both computing architecture and application architecture. Therefore, this convergence is a great significance. According to the development trends of serverless, the user penetration rate will increase from 30% to 80% by 2026. In the past, application scenarios were mainly outside China. However, from this year, there has been a significant increase in serverless requirements within China. The auto-scaling efficiency will accelerate from second to millisecond. Serverless will become the primary cloud delivery mode in the next 5 to 15 years. Microservice-based application features resource-level granularity, RPC communication, second-level elasticity, hour-level release, and unified operation maintenance. Serverless applications are event-driven and provide feature, function-level granularity, millisecond-level elasticity, minute-level release, and no ops. In the future, applications will be built directly on the cloud. Microservice-based applications will gradually evolve to serverless, and these two types of applications will coexist for a long time. Embracing the serverless development trend, Huawei Cloud is developing full-stack, all-scenario serverless capabilities, and will preferentially promote and implement them in a scenario such as audio and video, data processing, IoT, and device-side applications. In addition, it will also promote serverless reconstruction of related services. This year, we, we will preferentially launch Function Graph 2.0, CAE, Event Grid, and ADM. We have also an end-to-end -end monitoring capabilities in server development tools. Finally, we are building a comprehensive serverless application ecosystem in terms of front-end tri triggers and back-end as a service. 
Function Graph 2.0 is a new generation function computing and orchestration services. Incubated in Huawei 2012 Labs, is able to provide deep integration with Cloud IDE, concurrent debugging of multiple functions, tracing, wizard-based function application building, and full lifecycle management, SIP types of programming languages and customized runtime, call the start within 100 milliseconds and millisecond level autoscaling, stateful functions being the first of its kind in China, and visualize function orchestration, serverless web applications with zero reconstruction. At the 2021 Trusted Cloud Summit, Function Graph won the advanced platform in China for its serverless capabilities. The serverless tool chain provides the following advanced capabilities. App development, Cloud IDE is ready to use. It allows full link tracing and commissioning across clustered serverless apps code breakpoints, stack viewing, tracing topology, and hot code replacement are supported. Release and operation maintenance monitoring. Serverless lightweight DevOps capabilities are available. They include continuous delivery tools, which are integrated with the serverless runtime services, and app operation and maintenance monitoring tools. End-to-end -end management. It allows serverless apps lifecycle management. Apps can be quickly experienced and shared to the marketplace and reused throughout templates. Cloud Application Engine is a serverless app hosting engine for simplified hosting and governance. Pre-configured runtimes and serverless resources will free your developer from infrastructure operation and maintenance. Apps can be quickly deployed in minutes and automatically scaled depending on traffic. High concurrency and high availability are supported. Users are built based on usage largely reducing the cost. Now, let me introduce what is Event Grid. Event Grid is a serverless event bus, which transforms apps from being an API call driven to being event driven. In future, we foresee there will be more apps that are built based on event driven architecture, becoming fully decoupled and asynchronous. Event Grids enables lifecycle management and support cloud event standards. Event storage is extendable by plugins. The service is also supporting Huawei Cloud Services, traditional apps, cloud native apps, and partner SaaS apps. There are three major types of serverless applications. First, single purpose, stateless apps. These apps can be delivered within hours by using functions that simplify the development process. Second, event-driven apps, which are most of the typical serverless apps. The layer interconnecting this app is implemented by using functions. Third is the apps that require auto-scaling, such as those for video transcoding, live streaming, and hover the event pass. The underlying infrastructure is invisible to end users, and resources can be automatically and quickly scaled to adapt to unpredictable changes in traffic without affecting the service layer. I would like to end this presentation by sharing some thoughts on serverless. First, serverless is a large ecosystem and we hope to build it together with partners. Second, Huawei Cloud has provided hosting and governance capabilities that are container and application and function oriented based on different service requirements. We find that there is a lot of common among these capabilities. So we want to build a unified hosting and governance base. Huawei Cloud hopes to build full stack capabilities for all the scenarios and provide users with a simple and consistent experience. To this end, we need to transform Huawei Cloud advanced services toward a serverless so they can be better integrated into the serverless ecosystem. Thank you.